Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. In today's quick tip, we're gonna be talking about the forward assist or how to properly use the forward assist. Uh, so <laughs> the reason we're doing this video, um, if you remember recently, we did a few Smith Busters, uh, a few talking about the forward assist. And it's clear in the comment section that uh, there's a lot of hate out there for the forward assist. But, you know, going through those comments and, and reading them and things like that, it's uh, it became apparent to me that there's a large group of people that don't know how to properly use the forward assist. So I think a lot of that hate or dislike uh, comes from just not knowing how to properly use it or lack of knowledge. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and make this video, jump right into it and kind of give you the reason why the forward assist exists and why it's not a jam or malfunction enhancer. So this goes back to the, you know, basically the military use of the forward assist. So let's talk about uh, immediate action or how to clear a malfunction in the M4, M16, AR-15. So your military acronym comes up, uh, that's gonna be SPORTS. What SPORTS stands for is slap, where you slap up on the magazine, pull, observe, release, tap, and squeeze for squeeze the trigger. Uh, so some people will argue that it, that is a bit outdated. Yes, I'll agree with you. Uh, tap and rack is the way to go. Now where you just tap the magazine, rack the charging handle, and, and keep going from there. But the point I'm trying to make here is the immediate action is not to just jam that charging handle. So whenever you have a malfunction or a failure to you know feed or failure to seat, failure to go into battery, whatever, the first thing you do is not to tap or not to sla start st slamming that forward assist. Uh, and that's where the misconception comes in. It's clear that a lot of you guys think that that's what, you're, that's, that's what it's for. That's not what it's for. After you do your tap and rack, you just give that forward assist a little bump and uh, to make sure everything's seated properly and you're good to go. So no, it's not to be used before tap and rack ever uh, in any scenario, unless you're doing, um, you're doing press checks or anything like that, where you load your magazine, you, you know, seat your bolt and you just do a little check there. And in most cases, when you do that with a round in the chamber, the bolt's not gonna close all the way, in which case a little press on the forward assist will get it to go home. That's a really good use for the forward assist as well. Again, not for malfunctions, but just for overall operation of the firearm. And if you didn't have a forward assist in that case, um, you would have to either you know rack the whole round or take your thumb and push into this scallop in the bolt here. And uh, that leads me to my next point. Um, a lot of people say the forward assist is that scallop in the bolt. Yeah, sure, you can use it for that. Uh, but if you've you know ever had sweat all over your hands, uh, combine that with oil on the bolts or blood on your hands or anything like that, it's impossible to do it that way. So it's it's just not practical to favor that over the forward assist. So those are my thoughts on it, mixed in with a bunch of facts. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below because I know you will, and I can't wait to hear from you. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.